everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hi my name is Tammy if you're not new welcome back thank you for always coming back I appreciate you so so much God bless you all right so today's video I'm going to be trying the I gotta look up the name because it's long the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna soft lit naturally luminous hydrating longwear foundation so I went to Sephora right here this is the bag I actually went today and you know in order to be smarter I went in and I asked for a sample which is right here and this is then that's the soft lit naturally luminous foundation in the shade 485 so but I still said figured let me try it on the camera show you guys if you're like a color match if you have like similar shade tone that I am so I usually lean towards neutral because I like my foundation to match my neck and also not to be too dark on the face but to kind of have that uniform look when you wear foundation you should wear it the way you would wear it on a regular day on a regular basis so I'm going to be using or uh, trying out this new primer that I got from Estee Lauder I know Fenty has their own primer and I think I have a Fenty Beauty primer but I don't know where I put it all my skincare <laughs> all my sunscreen I'm wiping it off but I'm not gonna wipe my my eyebrows off because that I always do that every morning all right so we are makeup free see no makeup <laughs> I had to make sure I rub it off very well so like I said I'm going to try out this double wear this is the Estee Lauder double wear smooth and blur primer and that's what that that's the packaging I received this in I don't know I I didn't buy this <laughs> it was sent to me so it's the Estee Lauder double wear smooth and blur primer that I'm gonna be using as my primer this is my first time using this hopefully hopefully it is works with this foundation but before I move on I'm just gonna tell you what it's supposed to do so this is a blurring smoothing pore diffusing it's a breathable gel cream primer that mattifies I think I'm using a lot a bit too much so let me just wipe a little off I don't want it to be too mattifying so it's a gel cream primer that mattifies while leaving the skin comfortable and instantly filtered with all-day oil control this might this is not good gonna be good for dry skin and I kind of have a dry combination skin but mostly dry skin so I hope this won't be too <laughs> Hmm. and the pro filter is more of a what is it let me read about that one that is a long wear naturally luminous hydrating so I'm using a hydrating foundation with a mattifying primer that's probably not a good combination so one thing okay one thing I've learned so far is that if you want your foundation to kind of have a balance because I've used a mattifying primer and a mattifying foundation and it was not a good com good combination not for me anyway for my skin type so in this case this might not be too bad because this is mattifying but the, the foundation is hydrating so we could probably get away with it yeah I could definitely feel the mattifying <laughs> essence of this I do hope it doesn't peel the way I'm manipulating it so you guys see oh I am matte matte yeah if you're oily this might be good for you as a oily girl it will definitely matte you out so you can grab this if you want to be matte especially in the summertime all right let's go in with the foundation and I'll be using a brush actually to give me a sample and give it a try and see how it works for me and if I try it a couple of times, if I really like it, then I'll pick it up. But if not, mm -mm. at least I've tried it, you know? So that's what that looks like. The brush I'll be using is this, this brush by Morphe, E63 brush that I'll be using to apply this. I'm going to actually just, oh my gosh, that that um primer is very mattifying. My hands are dry. Look at this. It's like a white, dry feel. Ah, I don't like that at all. Anyway, I just took a big gulp and then I'm just gonna... Okay, maybe I did pick a good shade, but it's sort of darker. When I tried it in the store, it was pulling very red, as you can see. See that? Look at my neck, look at this. And... I just I don't want to stain my shirt mm -mm. 
this is not my shade <laughs> you guys see it's not my shade at all but it'll be all right we will we'll make it work better shade better darker than lighter anyway because you can always balance it out with the concealer but look at like look at my eyes you can see that it's definitely not my shade the thing about about like not wanting my foundation to be too dark for me look at my ears it's even light darker than my ear it's because if i don't feel like wearing concealer that day i'll just have like a whole black face like walking around no we don't want that so that's my reason of wanting my foundation shade to match me because not every day i want like a full coverage there are some days i just want no concealer and just foundation on or just concealer and then no foundation but then again my concealer would be like my skin shade you know my skin tone shade so right now i have no foundation on my eyes or a little bit not too much under my eyes either but as you all can see this is definitely too dark for me come on now you guys can tell right it's definitely too dark so in order to bring this together i will be using a little bit of a, a, a lighter concealer to conceal but so far quick review on how this wears this was wears very light it feels really light on me i like the way it feels i don't think i have any it has any scent to it also i feel like because i use the matte mattifying primer i think it's it kind of gives me a good balance even though i don't like matte I don't like anything matte. I like my skin to glow because if it's matte, then it's going to accentuate my lines. Let me just read a little bit about what this is supposed to be about. This is a long wearing medium coverage foundation that gives golden hour glow in a bottle. It hydrates, brightens, and improves the look of skin tone immediately and over time while resisting sweat, humidity, and transfer. As far as transfer, I doubt that's true because let me see oh yeah it transfers for now maybe after it sets in maybe after it sets in so i'm gonna keep this on for a couple or more hours and then i'll come back finish my makeup come back and then kind of give my review of what i think my first impression technically because this is too dark for me but i could still get away with it in in a way as, far as this concealer goes this is the sephora concealer Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I like that. I'm definitely gonna keep trying it and keep using it. So far, I really like the consistency of it and the formula of that concealer. I have two powders, powders here from Sephora. One is in the shade, what's this one? Almond 58 and then Hazelnut 70, 75. So for all over my face, I'm going to use the Hazelnut and the Fenty foundation is it's feeling really good so far so good I, I like it so far it's not to feel like I have nothing on like I feel like I have like a lightweight face cream but I'm going to use this and just press it into my face give myself a little bit of a nose contour and I'm going in my Juvia's place and I'm mixing both together and just sort of give myself a little bit of a nose contour these are this is what I actually have on my lid right now I just sort of went in with both of this and just sort of brushed it through to kind of give me like something there all right guys so this is my final look using the Fenty soft lit naturally luminous hydrating long wear foundation so far I really like it I've had it on for at least actually about two almost two hours now and it's wearing very well remember I used a mattifying found um, primer and it doesn't even feel like it I think that combination works so so well I love love the finish of it uh, like I said it was a little dark on me but if you as you can see it's like kind of worked itself out I don't know how that worked but it's sort of it's still a little dark but not too bad sort of oxidized you know as far as the claim of it not being um is it transfer proof yeah um i tried it eventually and i realized okay it is sort of transfer proof i did use my charlotte tilbury um setting spray on my face so as far as the setting spray slightly it wasn't as bad as earlier when i had just immediately applied it but after a while now this 
this is it you really can't see but you just have to take my word for it it's not as bad as far as transferring it still transfers but you can't really see it that much as far as resisting sweat i can feel that i'm gonna not be so super sweaty all day i can tell because the way it feels it feels so lightweight so i'll totally recommend it um i'm really excited that i tried this for the first time and i like it so i'm gonna give it an, you know a couple more tries i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like this video as well as subscribe if you're here to subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching bye